Hey everyone, one of my favorite things to do to play is four player chess. It's on chess.com slash four player chess. And shout out to Dubious Skills who I watched some of his videos and it's helped me progress. But anyhow, um, I'm playing red here. And the big thing I'm trying to do is get my king in the position at first where it's pretty guarded. So we can see as the other movers are, are the other players are moving. I'm going to be in shadow my, my, um, both sides and castle um, my king on the king side and luckily move the queen side knight over to be above the king side knight but as we um one of the one of the reasons i'm making this video is there's this is kind of a newer variation that's online and i think it's going to be quite popular and i i want to get better so um hopefully there will be a community that starts um giving tips. One of the, one of the biggest things I learned um, I'm learning is that um, if you're just starting out is to watch the players on your right and left watch their diagonal pieces like their queen and their bishops they can go on the diagonals and see what they're attacking. And just like in just like in um, regular chess you wanna you wanna kind of get a feel for you know each player where they stand why they made be keep it in your head why they made their last move what are they trying to attack but you see um there he um the yellow player got in check and he can't move his queen out of the way so I went ahead and I just took his queen this this might not allow me to um, get my knight back to the place I want it, but hopefully it will. I played the guy next to me, um, Sajanya Sajana from India. Um, he's he's rough. He always seems to take it out on me, but. Now my king's in the, I guess it's going to be termed the dubious opening, or dubious um, skills position, and um, it's um, it's pretty protected. I got to keep an eye open, keep all my pieces protected, and you know just um, just make sure that. Um, Keep a low profile so people don't start beating me up. Um, sometimes you'll, sometimes one thing I'd suggest under settings is to play a game with um, set the set the rating for people rated around you as your preferred rating limit, and that way um, people won't be threatened. Here I clicked on the user just to see my rival and that's me oh yeah you like the picture of the little kid I thought it would be the least intimidating so that um so that um people would you know wouldn't be so mean to a little kid but remember this is chess this is war so Everyone, um, um, you sometimes you you have to form a short-term alliance with a player, not to the strong players, not to get them mad. I'm not saying team up, um, because there's been lots of games where people will um, say, "Hey, do you want to be a team?" and that's um. That's just, 
that never ends well for me. They always um they always seem to win. Um and it's kinda it's kinda unfair. But any anyhow, um and if you want to play teams, there is an option when you start the game you can choose um free for all or a team game, but some people play teams during these games and it's it's just like you're defending yourself against everybody. But as you can see, I'm trying to just push my pawns um, slowly. I'm keeping an eye open on, on pieces that are, um, you know, not guarded. I'm letting the other people do the attacking. I'm not too worried about points right now because um, points are how you win the game. But if you checkmate someone, you get 20 points. And so, let's see how we're doing here. I'm waiting for my turn to come along. My blue rival from India. Looks like they're attacking. Um, they're really having it out on yellow. And, and I found that to be true. Um, um, if you get in a weak position, um, you will become the object of the attack, just like in life. If you're um, if you're passive, then um, there's a good chance that people will step all over you. Okay, I, I moved my rook there because I want to start promoting this pawn. This um, blue pawn, the blue pawn in the center is um, not allowing me to to get up and um, get an extra queen. So I'm going to push it. If the time, if everything works out, and I hope I can get a queen out of that. Now the queen retreated. Yes really no okay point wise um, bishops and rooks are worth five points knights are only worth three bishops are um, are way more powerful than a, than a knight in this game and as you play you'll see why um, I would rather have bishops over rooks any day, and I guess everyone that's played this would, you know, have a similar thing, a similar opinion. I'm pretty safe on my king side. Um, green doesn't seem to be attacking me. One thing, um, one thing that you learn as you go through is you have to, you, you don't want the player on your left to be your enemy. And I could take, um, I can either progress the pawn or take his. If I take his, he's just going to take it back with his queen. So I'm going to show a nice act and just push it forward. Now he's threatening my pawn, but that's okay. If he takes it, I'll take it. Ooh, maybe it's not a good time to, let's see what, okay, so good. This is Rook was there, I was kind of, um, I did prevent him from get yellow from getting a queen, so I don't want um, him to do the same out of spite. Sometimes when you, a lot of times when you start attacking someone and, they um they get mad and hold a grudge. I don't think he's um 
Now, I have a queen now, except it's not worth the nine points. It's only worth one point um, because it's one that I advanced. It's um, the same as a pawn. I don't think he's going to change a rook out for a five piece for a, um, for a, a one piece queen, a one point queen. I'm glad he moved his knight because that says if you take that, the knights go take him. And now I'm gonna. Now I'm thinking, where should I put my queen? Because I can't keep it there. Some could go up for a check. Also, if I get a chance, then I can um, take his knight. But I don't think he's gonna leave his knight around there. He'll probably move it to threaten me, um, to make me move my queen, but yes, exactly. So now I'm thinking, where am I going to move my queen, um, the queen I just got, and put it to save? I could go there, but I think it, I think it's going to do more than um, more it's gonna suit me better here because it's um I'm not it shows green that I hey I'm not looking for the diagonal against you now now I know from playing um the Indian guy next to me he's ruthless so I I don't want him to have a queen so I'm gonna just I think I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna sack it probably make him um go get mad at me um yeah but so now i gotta watch out for the wrath of sajana okay let me move my queen out of the way now i got two queens i can't really go in for take his pawn in front of the blue king because he has a bishop and queen and a knight protecting it, so he's not worried there. Now he has his, I don't like, he's mad, so he put his knight there. I don't want him, he could take my pawn and that one hurt, but I'm going to move my queen over. Just to say, hey, hey buddy, either do something with that knight or get it out of here and hopefully he gets it out of there good he doubled his rooks now let's see um okay let's see what's going on here okay I'm gonna keep his pawn from advancing so I moved my it's not my a pawn but it has a different coordinate system than regular chess game all my pieces are safe except my b3 pawn which is c, c which is e3 okay i'm kind of looking let's see here you get about five six seconds maybe 10 seconds to to decide which you want to move. I didn't really have anything in mind, so um, I just moved my bishop down there. Also, to um, after you exhaust your six seconds freedom time or whatever to make your move, then your clock starts winding down and you only have a minute in this game. Hardly ever do you lose by time unless you're listening to music and you don't, sometimes you're waiting for people to move and it's your turn. Um, I'm going to take his pawn here. Remember, my queen's only worth one pawn. And I see that his rook, yellow has a vendetta against blue from um, everyone attacking him. So... So he, that's awesome, because um, he didn't take my queen, he's not going to take my queen, 
I don't think. He didn't take my queen. So now I'm checking. That way everyone, showing everyone, hey, let's go get blue. Okay. Now I'm kind of worried here about points. I only have five points. And, I'm, and I'm, am I going to make them up? Yeah, I can by checkmating people. But the thing is, um, some of these players are are better skilled at you know at the end game. So I want to kind of put some pressure on with doubling up on the diagonal so I can go and check. He moves his knight there to protect his pawn. Good. Now I can take his knight because he's in check by the rook. Not his knight, his pawn. I just wanted to see what happened. Okay. Now you're double checked. Good. And he moves his king back. Oh, great. This is awesome. Now, now green's going after um, yellow, who's been my friend the last few moves. And I retreat. I'll let blue do his job. Now, I want to get, um, <sighs> I want to double up on my file. Here, oh, he got a double check. When you double check two kings, you should get five points. And if you triple check, you get 15. Which really, I would like to get a double check in so I can add some points. I'm thinking here, now my clock started. So, mm, good. Okay, this puts me in a pre pretty good position. And... The great thing about it is um, I have to start gain points now because there's not much. Um, if you look at green, he's a powerhouse. But green, uh, if you look at his rating, I need to pick a protective square. I'm hoping maybe to get a double check or something similar. Okay. Oh my, he moves this rook to say, get your queen out of there. This puts me kind of in a safe position. Um, yellow has is no threat. I have to be careful here though with um, the knight. Sometimes I take a piece or okay. Now I hope um, green green cannot checkmate with just a queen. So he might take that, ooh, well actually, oh yeah, that's why he moved his rook there, okay. And I should have had that, I should have um, had that checkmate, but I was not paying attention, so that's just 20 points. Um, when you mate someone else, if, I've already, if I haven't already said this, you get 20 points for checkmating someone. Okay, let's see here. This could be tough going against... Um, I couldn't take his knight because then green would take my queen. He might not, but it is a free-for-all.
he might come down with a rook check. I don't know. I need this checkmate because if you look at even the expired players, um, yellow, he has 28 points. I only have seven, and and my good friend um, Sajana, he has um, 31, and you. Oh, good. I got the checkmate. So 27. Oh, wow. Green went ahead and checkmated and resigned, which allowed me to be the second position with 47 points. And so I um, advanced seven points in my rating. Thanks for watching. And I encourage you, if you played this game, record some videos, put them online. Let's all learn from each other.